what, what's the, um, what are we trying to run on the last play? Yeah, we had Vooch in the uh, uh, ball side corner to try to take away Robinson's shot blocking, hit DeMar, and then we uh, sprinted uh, Zach over the top for either a handoff or a fake handoff, let DeMar make the read and then play and, you know, try to, if, if they did switch it, DeMar could, could drive it. Um, I think DeMar got to a good area of the floor. I think he was maybe trying to use his shot fake, which he does so often to draw fouls. And then uh, when he didn't go on it, he kind of went up and shot it. But that's it was either to Zach or to DeMar, either one of them. Well, the play was, well, the play was to drive the ball. I mean, that was the play. Um, and, but then, you know, it was more of a kind of a fake handoff to a drive uh, to get something downhill. They did a good job. And, um, you know, DeMar got to a good area on the floor, I thought for him. And he's really good at, in those areas, but um, I, I had no problem with what they did on the play. They both were. They both were involved in the action, you know, and so was Vooch too. All three of them were involved in the action. It's not necessarily about, you know. Sometimes I think coming down the stretch, you can sit there and say, "Hey, listen, you know, we're going to this guy," but if that guy's not open or they double team, the ball's going to be in someone else's hands. So, you know, Zach was involved in the action with Demar. Vooch was in the ball side corner just in case Robinson came off to help on a drive for for shooting. So, I mean, I was fine. It wasn't about so much. Hey, you're getting the last shot, you know, as much as. They, 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 you know, you had, you had Zach running over top of DeMar. DeMar could have flipped it to him. You know, he faked it to him, you know, with the way it was being guarded. They actually kind of left towards Zach and kind of left the space. I thought he had a second, you know, to um, maybe drive. I thought Barrett did a good job uh, working to get back in front of him. Did you get an update on Patrick? Just, uh, just I think that he just, they just told me on the bench that uh, it was a wrist sprain. I do not know if there's been x-rays or MRI or anything like that. Just said he's sprained wrist and he's not coming back. Okay. That was just all I heard. All right, thanks. And, and yep. this is the second straight game. You guys have been hurt on the boards, and obviously they're their physical team. But uh, you've kind of owned um, your size deficiencies all season. You, you did throw Tony out there tonight. What is How much of an area of concern is this for you right now? Mm, no, listen I, th I, listen, I thought our guys battled and competed. I thought our defense was pretty good. Our, our, our rebounding is going to be challenged. Um, you know, from an offensive rebounding standpoint, we had 11. I thought for the most part, it wasn't too bad. I thought as we got later in the game, there were some offensive rebounds that hurt us. Uh, but overall, I thought our guys battled and competed. And listen, we, we know – at times we're going to be small and we're going to have to, you know, really kind of get in there and fight and battle. Like I thought the job Lonzo did at times on Randall was really good. He got in there, hung in there, physically competed and battled. Um, you know, I thought our guys really tried to do that. We obviously were down by 10 or 12 and, you know, th those guys fought their way back. So, you know, there's a lot we can learn from the game just based on the way the game went. Uh, I was actually, you know, I think the thing we got to, we've got to really improve and get better at is offensively. You know, I've, I've, I've kind of felt that I've made that comment several times. You know, our guys are really working defensively, but I think we got to work offensively as these guys kind of come together and learn how to play with one another against, you know, different teams. So um, I, th I thought tonight, I thought our defense was okay. Obviously we get, did get hurt on the boards, but our defense, you know, kept us in there. I mean, when they, they scored, it was a really low scoring game. Um, and, you know, they, they had been taking about 40 something threes, and they took 29 tonight. So, you know, our, our guys worked. Um, I just think we got to get more, more cohesive on offense. You know, I think that, and I, and I do think some of that bled into, um, you know, I, 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 these guys have such high regards for their expectations of what they should do. And that's why they're at the level they're at, but there's also a point to, we, you know, when it's not going well, offense, we got to be able to move. And I thought they did do that as the game went on and obviously kept themselves close on a night where we didn't, you know, I didn't think we flowed great offensively. What did you uh, think of that? Did you see Maroon tonight as far as uh, trauma and everything else? I mean, I think he was fine. I, I didn't get anything from him that he was hampered or bothered or, hey, you know, um, I, you know, stay away from me or don't go to me. I can't shoot. I'm not, it, there was none of that. He, he didn't say one word to me about it. Uh, so I didn't even really talk to him. I think I mentioned to you before you know, the game that if there was an issue or problem in the game that I felt confident that he would come to me and he, he didn't do that. Well, yeah, Th Thibodeau was obviously known for defense and is a very physical team. Did you feel like you guys had trouble handling the, the physicality of this? I, 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 
was a hard game to fish. I, I did not feel it. I thought our guys matched the physicality, to be honest with you. I mean, it was a physical game. It was a low-scoring game. I mean, neither team. It was a one-point game. I mean, it ended up being a one-point game. I was really proud of the way our guys competed. I thought their guys played really, really, really hard as well. Um, you know, I think points were hard to come by for both teams. Um, you know, they obviously went straight iso ball, and rightfully so because – they probably had size mismatches with Randall and they really tried to go to him. And I thought Lonzo and our guys hung in there pretty good. I think we had to clean some stuff up at the half, you know, those, those two threes, we give up the Fournier out of the corner. Uh, those were some poor rotations that we had to clean up. And I thought we kind of fixed and solved some of that, but no, I didn't think so. I mean, I thought the game was physical on both ends. And I think being able to run and execute offense, um, you know, against a good defensive team, is just a way for us to get better. I think, I think the game was really, really good for us. Uh, you know, in a lot of ways, uh, just cause we obviously were dealing with a, a team in particular at the four and the five that were, you know, very, very overwhelming and physical and powerful. I was just going to ask, did you ever have a conversation in training camp or anything with uh, Zach and Damar about how you'll approach late game situations, buzzer beating situations? No. Um, they're, they're, um, they're, they're great to work with. They, they both want to win. Um, I'm not, listen, when you're in a catch and shoot situation, um, with one second to go, I, I get, you have to go to one player because you don't have time to pass. We had, I think it was 4.7 seconds or whatever it was. Excuse me for me. I'm, I'm much, much, you know, just, just getting a good shot, whether it's Vooch, whether it's, uh, you know, Zach or DeMar, um, you know, I liked what we tried to do. Um, you know, DeMar had the ball at the, at the elbow area, maybe a little bit higher top of the key and Zach came flying off. So, I mean, it's a two man game and they got to make a read and, you know, DeMar, you know, faked it, which, which I was totally fine with. And I actually told him in the timeout, like, listen, they're probably going to jump out on Zach. So if you jump out and you can see Elaine drive it and he did, you know, so, they were both involved in the action. And I think you have to have players work to, to each other. I'm not, you know, so wrapped up in, you know, when there's 10 seconds or whatever it is, like who you're going to, we tried to get a three, the possession before. And Zach and I talked, I said, listen, if the three's not there. If there's enough time, drive the ball to the basket. And, you know, he came, he came off. We actually executed the play really well. I thought Taj Gibson did a great job recognizing that Vooch set a great screen. He had a switch out. That's why Zach got downhill. But that was a situation where we were going for a three and we were going directly to Zach in that situation. But, you know, with with four and a half seconds, I like the fact that we have some different options and things we can do, um, you know, to, you know, get all those guys so what somewhat involved, you know, at the end of the game. I'm, I'm not as as wrapped up in who shoots, who doesn't shoot at the end of the game. Personally, I'm, you know, want to help those guys get off a good shot. I felt very, very comfortable with the ball in DeMar's hands late. He's been a, a tremendous player late in those situations. You talked about how offensively well, I think the biggest thing we got to do is got to play with more force. I don't feel like we play it with enough force on a consistent enough level. There's times we play with really good force. I thought when the game, I think it was maybe 16 to six, when we called that timeout, we can't kind of came out of the timeout. I thought we started to play with more, more force. Um, you know, and again, I think for for Vooch and for Demar and Zach, a lot of those a lot of those guys, they've been the guy where the ball's always kind of in their hands, and now they're all learning to play together. And I give them a lot of credit because they've been incredibly unselfish and willing to try to work with one another to try to figure that piece fit out. Playing with more force, just like kind of being more aggressive. I'm sorry. Playing with more force, is that just like being aggressive tagging? Yeah, I mean, I, I I think it's always about winning point points of screens. You know, I don't view basketball a lot differently than the line of scrimmage in football. You know, generally the team that wins the line of scrimmage wins the game. Well, there's so many pick and rolls. There's so many, like whoever wins the points of screens generally wins the possession. And I thought you know, there was times offensively, we did do that in particular coming out of that timeout when it was 16 to six, I thought we were aggressive and got downhill and they were kind of behind the ball. And then there was some times, and that, that's all you're really trying to do. Who's winning those possessions? Who's behind the ball? Is the defense or is the offense behind the ball? I thought tonight too much we got behind, you know, where we got, uh, we labored a little bit. I, I really felt like, you know, it was a game we, we could have found Vooch a little bit more to try to allow him to facilitate and create and make things happen. 
Um, I, I wasn't thrilled coming out of the half that I think he had eight shots maybe. And I think against Robinson, who's playing predominantly, you know, up, but somewhat back and, you know, in coverage and really trying to protect against Zach and DeMar coming downhill, you know, we get, we could maybe find better ways to, to get the ball back to him because he's such a good shooter and facilitator. Like when you have to compensate for the size thing and you've done it well it was with steals, activity blocks. And it seemed like for the first for three and a half quarters, you weren't as much. The last part I'm, of the, I'm sorry. For three and a half quarters, you weren't We're not what? getting the steals, blocks, those things to compensate for whatever the size difference. Last half of the fourth quarter it looked like it was that the difference as far as. Uh, you know, I mean, yeah, Sam, I, you know, like I've always felt this way. And listen, I, I was a guy in college that pressed all the time to try to force and generate turnovers. I mean, I obviously playing for and working for Rick Pitino, that's all we did. The one thing you realize is that as much as you try to generate and force turnovers, the offense is actually in control of that. So I don't necessarily go into the game thinking about how many turnovers we're going to force or how we're going to force it, because a lot of that's up to the offense. I think our guys have given great effort, um, you know, defensively, but certainly it makes us a lot better with, to your point, the size when we do turn people over, but you know, again, I don't know, you know, what the number of the possessions or what the numbers look like. I mean, certainly it was a, I thought it was a slower pace game. They were playing a lot faster. So we, were we, but you know, 104, 103 is pretty, pretty low scoring. So I thought our guys, you know, even though we didn't maybe necessarily force a lot of turnovers, um, I thought our guys competed and battled physically against a team that was, you know, obviously bigger than us. And um, it's hard to, to necessarily generate turnovers all the time. A lot of, a lot of that has to do with the offense as well. Okay, thank you.